Hi, today we are going to make this paper cut text effect in Photoshop. So, let's start. Take a new document. At first we will create background. Click on layer adjustment and take a solid color. I am taking color ACABAB. Now I will take a gradient from layer adjustment. Click on gradient, choose a light shade of the same color which we have used in solid color. Change style to radial, then adjust the scale according to you. Select both layers and press Ctrl G to make a group. Rename the group. Now add pattern overlay from layer style. Choose a pattern. Set blend to multiply, opacity to 50% and scale to 100. This will create a paper texture in the document. Now take Type Tool and type your text. Choose your font style and text size. Press Ctrl A to select all. Then align the text in the middle of the document. Press Ctrl D to deselect. Now take darker shade color for the text. Here I will take 635D02 now it's time to add some style on it. Go to Layer Style and click on Blending option. You can also double-click on the layer to open Blending option. Here follow the settings which I have used. You can pause here or slow down the video. You can see it already creates a paper cut effect after applying the settings. Now add same paper pattern from pattern overlay. It's done. Now take new layer above text layer. Take lasso tool. Draw a curvy selection like this. Here you can use pen tool also, but I prefer lasso tool. Now choose brightest shade of a color. Press Alt Backspace to fill the selection. Press Ctrl D to deselect. Now right click and clipping mask it. Open Blending option to add some style on this layer. Follow the settings carefully. You can pause here or slow down the video for better understand.
press Ctrl T and adjust the size if you want. Now at first we will create 4 to 5 shapes in different layers using same process. And gradually choose the darker shade of the color for every layer. Here, every new layer should be placed below the previous layer. Follow the process. Now all shapes have been created. It's time to add layer style. Now copy layer style from first shape and paste it in remaining layers. Now it's done. This is the final product. You can change colors and shapes of every layer according to your choice. If you like the video hit the like button, and if you want to see more tutorial like this, subscribe the channel. See you soon.